um, another video right now. I had to come back to uh, Bridgeland. I had to come back to Bridgeland because uh, we, we actually went to the boardwalk at uh, Town Lake and I didn't really do Bridgeland any justice. And so right now we're looking at Bridgeland Shopping Center uh, at Lakeland. This is a uh, part of Bridgeland's Lakeland. It's very close to Parkland. Um, Bridgeland's a very big community. Um, I actually didn't intend to leave Town Lake this early, uh, but I went to like an actual back road to kind of go in the station that I will probably be in. But this is one of the shopping centers for Bridgeland. Bridgeland's gonna have a lot of these out throughout their community. But uh, this is the shopping center. You know, you're going to have nice, nice dining here. Different bars, different places are opening up. Uh, you have your nail shops. is uh, similar to what the boardwalk offers at Town Lake. But I don't really see like no kind of actually like lake or waterfront access. But, um, you know, you're going to have your amenities in Bridgeland too. Uh, Bridgeland will have a lot of places like this. Um, a lot of different things for you to be able to do. A lot of the amenities. They're still opening this place up. You still have some available leasing uh uh, 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 suites, but it's going to be a nice shopping center, light shopping community for the residents of Bridgeland. And so, um, I think Bridgeland is, uh, like again, Bridgeland will pass up Town Lake. Uh, you know, Town Lake can only do so much, but as you see, you, you know, you have homes connected to the shopping center. So, back up here is part of the actual neighborhoods, like, like a smaller, uh, uh, less affordable, uh, well, a smaller, more affordable community, like little town homes, small. Uh, town home looking houses. I don't too much like that personally, but this is their actual shopping center again. It's not I don't think it's nice as um, it right now is not as nice as the actual boardwalk But I think Bridgeland will make their own version of the boardwalk or something similar to it They're gonna have a lot of these little shopping centers. This, this is one of the first ones that opened up um, It's like a nice little field. This kind of said they want to have the Savannah, Georgia field I don't think you can really touch you can't really make that in Houston, man, but but um it has like a little few little shops here too it's you know something for you to be able to drive to conveniently and get access to it but it's right across the street from uh cypress ranch high school i told you guys that on the last brisbane video but that's their shopping so i'm not gonna really get out because there's not much to see uh but you know you do have people here you do have like a lot of shops here you do have restaurants here and that's for the actual residents of brisbane now of course you can come just driving through here and spend your money that's fine you don't have to be uh a resident of either town lakes uh, boardwalk or uh, Brazilian shopping up uh, well like you know communities they actually you know you know like enjoy these shopping centers They're gonna let you spend your money here regardless, but it's just something that gives you access to Shopping uh, with the convenience of not having to really leave your community um, They want you to be but you have like nice little nice fixtures out here. They, they all right, but um, Again, I'm not really Nothing nothing really impressive yet, but you're gonna have a lot of these you're gonna have a lot of these shopping centers throughout uh, The different communities of Bridgeland again Bridgeland is a whole lot bigger than Town Lake uh, Town Lake would not be able to compare uh, to Bridgeland once it's all said and done But as of right now, this is what Bridgeland has again Bridgeland is still being developed uh, They're in the infant stages, uh, you know, they've been developing since, since I believe 2009 but they pretty much did like a lot of the Katy portion of it. They're still opening up portions. They have waterways and causeways they're building. Um, it's it's just a lot. They're doing a lot. And so um, when it's all said and done again, Town Lake won't be able to touch Brisbane. It's nowhere near the size of Brisbane. Um, but again, I'm I'm still I'm still feeling Town Lake again. I haven't seen no palm trees in Town Lake. I'm I'm listen, y'all. I'm a little concerned about that because again, you know, I'm a palm tree enthusiast, and so that's like almost a, that would be almost a deal breaker. If I can't have any palm trees, and so it's because I, I I I rave about Town Lake Bridge and is out of the water. Um, you know, you know Falls Dry Creek. That's pretty much almost out. They only have one lot for me. They, you know, like they, you know, they they have lots in the, the uh, Falls Dry Creek, and they're a whole lot less expensive. But when it comes to building a next gen home, a home that actually has the home within the home, I had limited availability. Um, at the time that I first went over there, they had three lots that I could build the Chatham on. And um, now they can't build a chat up at all because they pretty much use them lights up. And um, I have one lot that I can build up a car to two on. And that lot is an so I don't like it. Uh, there's nobody behind you, but it's terrible. Even my daughter, when she saw the video, I haven't really edited to make the video yet, but she saw like the clip and she's like, oh my God, that, that's, that, that's just no. But this is Bridgeland. I make it back to Town Lake. This, these, these are closer than I thought. And so I believe the part of Town Lake that we'll be at, like when I, when I, when I, when I saw the Village Builders for our Bacardi model home, uh, it will be uh, more zone two side ranch. But again, for Kiara, which is my uh, uh, daughter, she's going to high school next year. Again, like I said before, she was accepted into Tomball Star Academy. And so she will be going to a special school that will give her college credit. She have uh, her eight, so she, she will graduate with her associate's degree, two years of college under her belt. And so she better pretty much excel and get out of school quick and just get on her life. You know what I'm saying? But um, this is um, 
we, we're like right up on Sour Ranch right now. We, uh, you know, the three main communities in this area, and we're not really looking at this community, the, um, the, you know, the older community, which is uh, Cypress Creek Ranch. Uh, I mean, uh, Cypress Creek Lakes, sorry about that. Cypress, Cypress Creek Lakes is a nice community as well as an older community, it's more established. It is very beautiful. Uh, they don't have like none of the wood fences. It's all like you know, uh, uh, brick and uh, iron rod gates. A lot of a lot of lakes here. They have like a lot of amenities for their community. They have like all kind of games, and it's a very close knit community. But it's probably um, a big community. But we're not looking at that area. Uh, the builders that we're looking at build with don't really build in Cypress Creek Ranch. And I don't really think that um, they have the house that we need and if they are building over there. Uh, I mean, I keep saying Cypress Creek. I mean, say Cypress uh, Creek Lakes. And um, but but uh, right now it's really between Bridgeland and uh, Town Lake and uh, I'm still pushing towards Town Lake but I do I am seeing where Bridgeland is going to be the better of the two uh, when it's all said and done um, again Town Lake has the water and the amenities that I like it's the more fun of the two but Bridgeland if you're a person that has a family a growing family a new family you have like kids that want to go to the park access you like hiking and stuff Bridgeland's probably the better because you have uh, you have like a lot of parks Town Lake has their parks in different sections also Town Lake does seem like an actual segregated community as far as like you have like gated portions of it. Uh, some portions aren't gated and so like if you have the money you don't want to be around everybody else you can have your gated portion of Town Lake. Um, but 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 um, the parks that they do have they can't touch Dragonfly Park. I, I see now uh, when you when they really get Dragonfly Park compared to um, compared to the parks that they have in Town Lake. Town Lake parks are just you know outside of the boardwalk area in that massive park with the water park and the pool area. Um, Town Lake parks are just parks. Uh, Bridgeland's uh, Dragonfly Park was better in comparison compared to the other parks. Other parks, Town Lake, they have playgrounds, water view, but that was really it. You didn't have like the community center, all the weightlifting and stuff and everything. Uh, but I'm back in Town Lake already, and so both communities are very close to each other. And so, um, uh, yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and head back on to the house right now. I, I kind of drove through here, but um, they do have waterfront properties available. One thing I have to say, and I'm gonna have to get some more research. Um, I'm a little terrified of Town Lake now. When I when I drove out of the neighborhood um, and wound up going to uh, Fry Road, uh, one thing I did see is that Town Lake is closer to Cypress Creek Ranch than what I'm comfortable with. Uh, now they are building these communities to where their 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 water reserve attention ponds and different uh, ways of flowing the water out are uh, kind of keeping us from being flooded. But this is very close to um cypress creek ranch cypress creek ranch when it rains here in texas in the houston area houston's a very flat area when it rains here it floods and so i'm scared of the flooding now when i check the community you like you know town lake getting flood but this is like a newer part of town lake and this part of town lake is closer to and this part of town lake is closer to the um the, the uh cypress creek than like what i would be comfortable with but you have like a lot of lakes around here they're doing a whole lot of building they're opening up new sections. Uh, Town Lake is getting bigger as we speak. They're continuing to build, man. But I just don't know if the lakes on this part of Town Lake will connect with the uh, major lake. They do have their own boat docks out here, so you can boat probably no matter what lake that you're at. But I want to be able to boat to the boardwalk. And um, that may be super expensive. That may be um, something that's not available and something that's really outside of affordability. But I'm going to probably look at a few houses in the neighborhood itself and um, take it to the house after that point. But uh, I do have to say that um, I'm still gearing and leaning more towards Town Lake, but I do see in the future, uh, Bridgeland will pass Town Lake up. There, 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 ain't, there ain't no doubt about that. It, there's, it, it, it has to happen. Um, Town Lake can only do so much over here. But again, with the amenities that they do have, even when Bridgeland pass them up, Town Lake just just uh, meets our needs a little bit more than what Bridgeland does. And, and again, the, the only thing that sets them apart is the, um, the uh, motorboats. The motorboat access, man, and so I'm buying some of the homes here in town. Ladies, looking at some of the places that we're probably more than likely to build at, and uh, I may take it from this point. But I do want waterfront, and I'm hoping that the actual lake over here. This is a section I'm riding right now that we're probably building with a uh, village village builders, but um, I do want access to the uh, to the uh, boardwalk with my boat. I do want to build this boat through the whole community and looking just be able to enjoy the lake. Uh, but I'm just checking it out right now, and. Um, just kind of want to give you guys more feedback, more feedback and notes for myself. Probably won't put half of this stuff on on the uh, house hunters, but just giving myself some notes and things to look at the family and like things to consider as I'm driving, doing like things for the family to consider, man. But in case I do, I'm talking as if I'm talking to everybody. So y'all do, so stay tuned for everything. Peace out.